Hello friends, it's Stamp Ventures with Shauna, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome to my Tuesday tutorial that's, well, not really a tutorial tonight. It's more like show and tell. Um, I've got some things here in the box that I was going to share with you. Um, some things that you may not have seen before. And I know it's it's always fun to get a little sneak peek of things that are coming. So that's what tonight's video is going to be about. Plus, after we've had the sneak peek, I have, um, wow, a bunch of swap cards that I can share with you. Like, look at all these cards that I got from attending the uh, onstage Stampin' Up! convention in Vancouver. So uh, lots, uh, lots of fun things to share. And if you have any questions as we go along, I'm going to try and um, going to try and catch your questions and comments on my iPad. There, I think I'm almost connected. Yay! Oh, hello, Pam. Great to have you on tonight. Thanks for joining. You know, somebody shared this. I think it's a Stampin' Friend from here in Saskatchewan shared this today on her Facebook page. And what it made me realize is that I have set the bar way too high. If I can, if all it means is I can get from like the desk to the doorway, my craft room is clean. All these years I've just been, just been an overachiever, I guess. So yeah, there you go. You, you have permission to say it's clean. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the best, uh, the best advice, best crafting advice on, on Facebook today. And thank you. I think it was Janet who shared that on her Facebook page. That was a good one. Hello, hello to a few more of you who have hopped on. Um, I um, have a weather report today, but it's not. It's a weather report that's not really a weather report. <laughs> Today's weather is mostly a mystery because mostly I was inside today and I didn't have to go out at all. Um, I did notice when I did go out for a short bit that it was a little icy in places. So I think another weather word for today is melty. So it's mostly a melty mystery. I don't think it wasn't too warm, but it, it wasn't really too cool. It kind of hovered. The temperature hovered right around that melting that melting point. So it might have got a little bit above melting and then tonight it's going to get like a little bit below melting. There's only like, I don't know, a difference of between the high today and the low tonight is only, a, I don't know, seven degrees or something. So that's pretty good. Just moderate weather for us. I like that, especially after having come back from some really, well, not super warm, but well, um, it was about eight degrees when we were in Vancouver and Victoria, and then it was, well, it got up to 20 degrees when we were in California. So yeah, today's mostly mystery weather is brought to you by the letter M. So I had to look up and find a stamp set that started with the letter M. And I discovered on page 15 of the July through December mini catalog that there's mistletoe magic. And I even have a stamp no I even have a card that I can show you tonight that's made with this stamp set because it was one of the swap cards that I received at the event okay so carrying on we'll get to the box just check and see if we have uh, any questions that have come through oh Pam if I could see your craft room been doing craft fair items for months ah Excellent. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, we're getting to really busy craft fair time with Christmas and all that. So, um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, Pam, happy American Thanksgiving to you. Um, that's coming up, I think, for you on Thursday. So I hope you have a great week. Um, I would be really interested if, um, if uh, you're still watching there, Pam, to hear what your most popular craft item is for your craft fair. Um, it's, I'm always interested to, you know, hear, hear what, what sells well for people. And, um, I'm sure a lot of the other stampers are interested too. Okay. So on to the box, it says on stage and yes, we got, um, 
the majority of our gifts from the onstage convention in this box. And if you take a close look here, the colors are a bit of, and the designs, patterns are a bit of a peek at things that will be in the new um, January mini catalog. And so um, I was able to, because I attended the convention, I was able to place a pre-order, not the usual pre-order that all demonstrators get to um, have the opportunity to place once it just turns December, the one month before the catalog, but those who attend the on-stage convention. And it's just a few items from the uh, new catalog that we were able to order. So I thought I'd, you know, throw those in here and um, share them with you. Now there's a couple things mm, that weren't going to fit in the box, like these beautiful 12 by 12 papers. So maybe I'll share these with you right now before I forget because, yeah, they just wouldn't fit in the box. So I was able to order, pre-order this gorgeous glimmer paper. And I don't know what it's called. Let's see. It'll say on the back. It's fine shimmer. And a third of it is fresh freesia. And a third of it is soft succulent. And a third of it is gold. And for any of the pre-orders that um, us demonstrators place, there are always limits. Because they don't want us to like buy everything and then have nothing left for our customers for when the catalog goes live. But let me tell you, I purchased my absolute limit <laughs> of this fine shimmer paper because it's so pretty. So gold, fresh freesia, and soft succulent. Um, it's just lovely. And I'm looking forward to using that in some of my projects after Christmas. Okay. Whoops. There. That wasn't tucked quite in right there. Now hopefully it'll, it'll close a little bit better. So here's some pretty paper. And I have to look at the name of it again. Dainty Flowers. And this is celebration paper. So yeah, even on our pre-orders, for every $60 that we spend, um, we earn celebration items. The nice thing is, as demonstrators, we don't pay the full $60 because we get our demonstrator discount on that. But it's still $60 catalog price is when we get to start picking out celebration items. So I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the celebration catalog, nor the inside. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. That'll be beautiful focal points for cards. Um, nor can I show you the inside of the new mini catalog coming up, but I'm allowed to show you the product. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this paper and I think um, I'll be getting several packages of it so that I can use it in classes come the new year. Now this paper, beautiful 12 by 12 with these sort of brushed accents on it, I didn't pre-order. I actually won this um, as it was a giveaway at um, our convention and it was an all attendee giveaway. So we all went home with a package of this paper and it's called dry brushed metallic. And not only does it come in the pink tones and I'm trying to remember, what does it say? Ooh, huh. it's a com combination of Cajun craze and petal pink. Who would have thought Cajun craze, hey? but it's, it is in its softest form, it is a pink. And then there is this tone. So there's two sheets of each. So there's the warm tones and the cool tones. And yeah, amazing paper, dry brushed metallic. Yeah, and so the cool tones have um, some soft succulent in there. Okay, so we'll take a look here in the box. I'm just gonna check to see um oh i'm glad you like it pam oh welcome to a few more who have hopped on we're just looking at some of the things that i was able to pre-order um, or that i received um, that are from the new mini catalog coming up oh, i'm not gonna have room for this lid to open quite okay oh 
there's my my badge from the convention. They always give us little little tags that we add on to our name to tell our title and any of the any of the things that we earned over the year and it was Dampin' Up's 20th anniversary in Canada this year, back I think in April. And so we all got a 20th anniversary badge as well. And only the people that came to the Canadian conventions got that, I think. Pretty sure that the other, the other markets wouldn't have received a, one of those badges. And we also got cute pins that we could trade with. Um, I, uh, you can see mine are still in plastic, so I didn't trade, but um, I'm gonna go with my pin collection. Uh, there it is, the celebration brochure. I love the soft blue that they're using here and the soft pastel colors. So, oh, there's some of that dainty, ooh, dainty flowers. Is that what it was called? Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten the name of it, but they've shown it right there on that card. And there's some of it as well. Um, yeah, so pretty. And yeah, I can't show you the inside, but I'm allowed to show you the cover and ah, uh, gorgeous grape. There it is. And perhaps the other one, the other purple. Oh, what's our other purple called again? I should know this. Maybe Highland Tether. And um, here's a stamp set that I actually purchased in the product premiere. I'm going to be able to show that to you. It's really pretty. And there's this nice die that goes with it. If you're really good with the I Spy thing here, you'll notice that the mini catalog is going back to only four months of availability. Um, this past year or two maybe, Stampin' Up! made the mini catalogs available for six months. So one from January to June and one from July to December. And now for whatever reason, and I know they have their reasons, they have um, gone back to just a four month publication. So if you see something in here um, when you get yours and you're, you know, super excited about it, you should probably put the thing that you're most excited about on your list first, to your shopping list first, so um, as to make sure that you get it. And if you don't have a demonstrator who's sending you mini catalogs and you're here in Canada, let me know and I'll send one your way because I'm going to be whew, starting in December. I'm going to be having to actually, I think it's this month right now. I think I have to do the catalog pre-order right now. So I better get on that. Better put it on my, my to-do list. Okay. So first of all, starting off, you know what? I'm going to move these papers out of the way. I'm going to show those second. Because here I've got some things that I won at the more things that I won at or received at the convention. So I was in prize patrol group. Um, not what was it? A color or a letter or a number? It was a number. I can't even remember what my number was, but my number won some of this twine and there's a combo pack of coastal cabana garden green and pumpkin pie and it's cotton twine and it coordinates with one of the sweets in the mini catalog and when we checked in we got a stamp set called hand drawn dots and it's a background stamp and i looked at that and i thought oh, it's a rubber stamp too i looked at that and thought well phew, what is the point of that? Well, you know how this goes. They had people who showed samples using this and how it made super cute polka dot backgrounds. And um, I mean, with the dark gray on the white, it looks really bold. But when you do it tone on tone or say with whisper white embossing powder, on on a color on a soft pastel color it looks super cute so if you don't have polka dotted paper this will help you out in in a quick pinch and um it's yeah it, i like i said i was like oh what could we do with that that doesn't look very exciting and then i saw the samples and i'm like okay i'm converted here is another stamp set that we all received when we attended the 
convention this is a celebration one it's a level two celebration and the images that are here are actually only at like 85 percent um they're quite a bit bigger than um than on the front so i don't know how well you can see this but there's the the full size of that flower compared to the picture so there's yeah lots of pieces to it and some really nice sentiments um, things that you'd use all the time happy birthday and thank you um, sending happy thoughts and get well so um, yeah I can see myself using this quite a bit and I like how it's a two-step stamp and I'll be able to fill in the different colors with the second set of stamps they're beautifully happy yeah and then Ooh, we also received another giveaway um, this stamp set called decorative borders so pretty and you can mix and match these use them which with whatever words that you have on hand and um, create lots of designs with them so yeah decorative borders and it's photopolymer as well which is great because when you're going to be placing these in a corner or along the edge of a card you can see where you're placing your your image okay so now getting more to what I pre-ordered from the um, the convention pre-order list I'm just going to push this over to the side because I think a few more people have hopped on and I there is a question oh it's not a question <laughs> Glenda says she loves the dry brush metallic paper it's on my list yes the dry brush metallic paper is very very pretty um, it was sh it's featured in the catalog with um, a desert like stamp set I can't remember the exact name and Shelly the former CEO of Stampin' Up! and Sarah the current CEO they did a whole well, almost hour-long maybe 45 minute presentation on that suite and they just did beautiful things with it okay so here's another celebration stamp that I earned when I placed my pre-order it's called sending support and the again the words on this set really um, hit hit the nail on the head there's a lot that um, you can use and not just for everyday things but also for some of the things that maybe are a little bit harder to address when you're sending a card so you know like this one here some days are harder than others um, hope today is one of the easier ones um, there are so many ways you might feel right now alone shouldn't be one of them courage is being really scared and doing it anyway so so some of the things that maybe we don't always ha can't think of, of the words we want to say I like how they've used them on here and um, made it you know helpful for us to be able to send a card that might be for one of the more difficult circumstances uh, adorable owls I love this celebration stamp set so these cute owls can be colored with all different kinds of coloring techniques it just could be pencil crayons or watercolor pencils or um, more of the watercolor techniques um, you could probably even maybe do some paper piecing with some of the designer papers their eyes are like the eyes get me every time I look at those and they're just yeah they're just adorable so um, we know some friends that have little ones that are having you know one-year-old two-year-old three-year-old birthdays so these will work really well for those those little ones okay so here I've got this is like I think it's like one of those mega suites of product and they feature these two stamp sets together in the new mini catalog and at first I was just going to get the words because I find words are always handy and helpful and they have great nesting dies and different shapes that work together and some neat little 
tag pieces that can go into the tops of the tags or you could do them maybe on the corners of a card so I was just gonna get this one and then oh, my friend Lisa Althouse from Lethbridge showed all that you can do with this stamp set and it's the beautiful two-step stamp so I'm just going to take you back to this catalog that I can only show you the cover of but you can see here how um, they would have stamped the fill-in portion of the flower maybe with um, fresh freesia I'm guessing and then the outline portion of the flower with uh, perhaps the the grape, the gorgeous grape. And then there are all kinds of dyes that will cut those flowers out. So you don't have to fussy cut them for the different shapes of the flowers. And then now I'm like, oh, there's a stem here. And I have to take a look. I don't know if the stem, like this is, this set of dyes has two sheets here. And I'm wondering if I look here, Mm, no, I think the stem must be from something else, but there is sort of a stem here. This is like a really super de duper background dye. Um, and you can just cut out and create this lacy background effect, or you can use what you cut out as a mask, and you can use your blending brush and inks to create um, a blended background with all these floral patterns. It's really pretty. So yeah, it was Lisa that I have to blame for pre-ordering this set. And um, there are other things that go with this suite and because they're all beautiful, I clicked the, like the whole suite collection, one and done. I want it all code. Yeah, that's the code where you put in one code and you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things or something. Um, because in this sweet collection, there's also gorgeous, super gorgeous iridescent pastel gems. And again, I ordered my absolute maximum limit that I could of these because they're so pretty. And let's see the colors they say, oh, it doesn't say on here, but I think, I think this is like Calypso Coral maybe. Well, they probably say on the back of the paper too oh, there's the paper that's featured on the front of the box there it is this paper is called fancy flora and i think this might be balmy blue and then calypso coral and then these are just like iridescent white but the iridescent parts of them are so pretty so yeah i can see these are going to go like hot cakes and then there was some ribbon and it's pool party ribbon but Lisa was showing us how when you lay the ribbon besides, beside, uh, like there it is beside pool party, but then when you lay it beside some of the other colors, it kind of like takes on the color of whatever that, whatever other color you're using it with in this paper. This paper just has so many colors going on. And it was really cool. We got to see pictures of how Stampin' Up! created this design these designs and they actually had like paints thick paints and a board and they created all these fun designs and then they photographed them and came up with the paper and there's the texture is just crazy oh there i think that's the front cover of the box okay is this gonna work mm, no it's not that one. Oh, it must be it's pretty close to that one. It might be that one, but yeah, there, um, the texture is incredible. And we've had something similar to this before, but not quite the same. I like the colors in here, the warm, the warm greeny colors in that one. Um, but, and then there's the soft pinky tones in them too. So there's just about every color combo under the sun and there's 12 different designs in these six by six packs. So that's, that's the A side. And if you want me to show you real quickly, here's the B side. And these are not quite as varied in the colors. They're a little bit more monotone on the B side, but they still have tons of texture. 
so uh, once again let's see if I can open this back up now <laughs> that was the flora hmm, fancy flora paper uh, this might even be the whole fancy flora suite collection just absolutely beautiful okay and just a couple more things to show you that I pre-ordered I got some of these sequins um, they're self-adhesive and the, there's usual little sequins and big sequins in the gold and then there's some that kind of have these little raindrop looks to them and they're gold faceted adhesive back sequins and then I loved this paper it's a specialty six by six paper and it's called by the bay and if you love um, you know any of those kind of seaside seaside images seaside themes then you'll love this, this collection of paper and I didn't get the stamp sets with it the stamp set with it but it was one that I looked hard and long and I'm still keeping it open as maybe an option look at that iridescent stripes so pretty so yeah um, there's some of the images that would be in the stamp set the clamshells or scallop shells I'm not sure the crab these other fancy little shells I don't know what they're called there and there are also some bird images too in this by the bay set there we go so yeah pretty papers pretty embellishments and pretty stamps that's what you have to look forward to when you're mini catalog arrives so make sure you let me know if you need one of those and you're if you're in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator I can send one your way now I'm going to move this off to the side and I'll show you just a few well I'll show you the swap cards I received because I took part in a shoebox swap and some of these I've already posted on my blog um, and so you they may be familiar a few of them may be familiar to you so I'm just going to take a quick look here see if there are any questions that have come through ah thank you Glenda delicate desert sweet that's what that brushed metallic dry brush metallic paper went with thank you thank you and the gems Pam yes I know it's like oh they're they're pretty nice these first two cards are not from my swap these were the make and takes that we made at the convention and they are a new um, the new kit collection um, that Stampin' Up! has made available and so I like how they've um, come up with some card ideas a kit that can address cards for more for guys so yeah and these aren't the only two um, they're not the only two uh, words um, sentiments that are in the kit and I'm trying to think where did I put my kit is it still in my suitcase somewhere it might be no we didn't keep the kit that was it we just got to keep the cards that we made they were taking the kits back to the home office to use the leftovers for something that's what it was but there were more more words than just these but I thought the uh, the pocket watch is really clever and then the globe too yeah so if you have any questions about this new kit it is from what I understand it is now available um, for purchase so quickly run through some cards this is one that I received from Tracy Taylor and um, actually it was very flattering because Tracy used a design that um, she she got the idea for maybe at one of my classes no I don't think so actually I think Tracy this is different from the from the class that I had with the rubber boots um, she's got this cute flip flap card and um, live life in full bloom and here I've got a stunning simple stamping card I was so pleased to get this it's just got these three lines that are scored on the edge here I think that's just quarter inches a quarter of an inch yeah between them oh oh, oh here comes the sneeze <laughs> just a second oh oh
Oh my goodness, sorry. I didn't want to sneeze into the microphone. Whew. Okay. This was Marilyn, Marilyn Miller from Purdue, Saskatchewan. So there were a couple other Saskatchewan gals. Um, Tracy was one of them. Marilyn was one of them. My friend Leanne was one of them. There, we Saskatchewan gals had a bit of representation at the convention. You're totally awesome. And this just doesn't do it justice, but it is all really sparkly on that wave. And I believe she used the baby wipe technique to get all the different colors in the water. And then she used some of these, um, what are those called? The sea glass. Yeah. The sea glass embellishments. And, oh, there is no name on this one. I'm not sure who it was, but I sure love it. Okay, here, this one with the kayak. I think that's so cool for all those who are adventurous. Wishing you an adventurous journey. And this is by my friend Leanne from Kindersley, Saskatchewan. And I like how she did the stamping and the stamping and the stamping of the layers to create darker and then lighter and making it look like the ripples going out. This is another card by Marilyn from Purdue, Saskatchewan. She says it was inspired by my friend Tamara, Tamara Bertram. And it's one of these cards that opens up like that. And there's a little spot for a message. You're on my mind. And Marilyn used the beautiful sun prints paper from the annual catalog. Gnomes. Oh, I love the gnomes. You know, I haven't opened this one up and I'm thinking, I better because it's a, it's a fun fold. So this was created by Kathy Newman. Not sure where she lives, but it says heart and home cards. And I think, ah, here we go. It's a card that it's got this. Oh, it holds it in there like that. I don't, it's probably not, um, there. So there's this part. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a spot to put a gift card. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to be using this idea. That is so cool. I don't know the name of this fancy fold, but gift card there. And then this is the flap where you write your message. And then this little flip flap circle here holds everything together. Oh, I am so glad that I opened that up and that I got this swap card from Kathy Newman. That's awesome. That's a really cool, um, cool fun fold. Definitely going to be using that idea. Okay, here we've got, this is um, a faux tile card. So those aren't actual real separate tiles. You just create faux tiles by scoring every inch or so it's probably one inch yeah one inch squares and then you stamp over with a stamp set you usually fill in quite a bit of the area but where the score line is it doesn't fill in and um, makes it look like tiles and this was from Jan Stabel she's from Victoria area it was nice to see Jan at the convention too. Okay, beautiful floral card with pearls and ribbon and a lovely edge. And this is by Kelly Spencer. And I think this has some stamping on the inside too, so I've got to pull it out. There we go. Yes, so pretty. And she used the hand pinned petals and coordinating dies for that. One of the favorites from when the uh, annual catalog first came out. This is lovely. I love the colors on this. Um, it's using the Forever Fern Bundle and it's by Barb Trips. And you can see how she's used the fern embossing folder back here. And then did she say the color? Yeah, smoky slate and cherry cobbler. And then the bottle that's holding the vase, I guess, that's holding the greenery is from the silver specialty paper, silver foil, and it's been embossed. OK, 
Can you see that embossing there? Using the gingham embossing folder. I thought that was such a clever, a clever touch for, for the, uh, the bottle. Yes, the bottle punch. Here's another one that uses the firm background um, embossing folder. And hello there. And it's by Tracy Payne. Love green. Thank you, Tracy, for such a pretty card. This one is nice and doable too. You've got, you know, a strip of cardstock and then another strip of designer paper. So you're showing off a little bit of everything. And then a stitched rectangle die. Here we've got some honeycombs and bees. And this was from Miran. Miran Big Rig did an amazing presentation um, for one of the new stamp sets on stage. And um, she was so much fun to watch. I really enjoyed her presentation. She demonstrated the By the Bay stamp set. And here is her swap card from the shoebox swap with some honeybees. And there's one of my very favorite dyes, the wheat dye. That's from the Nature's Harvest bundle. And some of you might have seen this on my um, on my blog. Um, this was one of the cards I actually got to make. We got to make about five of the cards. We brought our shoe boxes and passed the shoe boxes around the table of uh, tables of about five of us. And then the rest of the swaps we had already made and our helpers um, laid them out on a big table and sorted them so that we got one of everything else. But this is one of the ones that I got to make and this one was Diana Madsen's card. Oh, and here's my card. Um, this image is the warm from the Warm Welcome stamp set. It was an early release. It came out in October when it was World Card Making Day. And it's um, this is part of the stamp set Warm Welcome that'll be in the new mini catalog coming in January. So mine was a simple and easy to duplicate card. I just used my heart punch I punched it out and I got some of that um, post-it note sticky tape which is my absolute favorite tape of all time stuck it down with the post-it note sticky tape because it's removable and then I sponged around the heart very softly and then I stamped my image with memento black ink and did some coloring with my stampin blends and added my greeting and some of those Ooh. The festive pearls. Yeah. Oh, this is another card I got to make, and I absolutely love this. This is Laura Buchler's card, but if I'm saying that right. Love, love, love this um, color combination of Night of Navy, gray granite. There's the Sun Prince paper. There's that fern background stamp again. And then a little bit of silver and some Blushing Bride. I'm going to be using that color combination for sure. It's such a pretty card. And here's another card I got to make at our table. This one was um, created by Nicole Zandbergen. You know, Nicole, for some reason, I want to say Zandenberg, but it's Zandbergen. So I always have to look at the name. And um, again, I loved how she used the de the designer paper, just like, what is it three quarter inch squares let me see or maybe it's half inch no nope, three quarter inch squares all different colors and um, there's you know kind of got that fall theme going there just from the colors of the designer paper that were used this this is super cool okay I have to take this out I don't know if you can tell but there's there's a window sheet there yep that's a window sheet so the kayak is gliding across the glassy water on the window sheet and then there's these other cool ripples of um, layers oh I can't even think of what the hmm, adventurous journey dies that's what they are and you know as I'm looking this here there's even some circles that's showing ripples going out with the window sheet very very clever i love how she, um how laurel taylor did that that was it's so fun to receive that swap okay um my last few cards are christmas cards they are also from the 
shoebox swap. I'm just going to stop for a minute and see. Oh, Brenda. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put your name, your list, your name on the list for the new catalog. Thank you for the reminder, Brenda. And um, yeah, Sue. Yes. That fun fold card was, it was awesome. It rocked. So here we are. Christmas. I'm so sad that um, this paper holiday lights is it has or brightest lights aglow mm, has lights aglow dsp has sold out it's made such pretty christmas cards and this christmas card was by mary ann tolinar got to make it because she was sitting at my table eek this little snowman is so cute so cute and this card was made by carla neville and there is a place to do the to and from. It fits into the card, the, the envelope flat like this, but then you stand it up by giving it a little bit of a bend here. There's a bend here and a bend here, or would I say a corner and in a valley fold there, a mountain fold there, and then this is a bend. And it's just a nice, smooth bend. And it stands up just like that. So a little bit different. You get a little bit of a 3D effect. And um, shows off the all the little parts of the snowman bundle so well. Let's see, what's it called? Snowman Magic Bundle. I was super thrilled with that. Oh, here's something pretty too. There we go, the lights aglow again, and that beautiful snowflake. And this one has a belly band, and there's some of the um, Mary hmm, music, Mary Melody. Hmm, I think she's got it written down here, and her name too. Tracy Barlow made this card, and other oh, Mary Melody 3D embossing folder. So. Yeah, a little bit different one with a belly band that made it unique in the pile here. Another Christmas card. Be cool, be chill, be merry. I don't know exactly how she did this reflection, but it does say that she was inspired by Lisa Curcio. So this is Arvon Brunt who made the card. But she was inspired by Lisa Curcio, and she's made it so the penguins are seeing their reflections in the ice. So, so clever. Okay, another Christmas card. This just is so stunning. I haven't worked with this seasonal chic paper, but oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a fun fold card by Glenda Mollett my friend in Port Alberni, BC. And um, so lovely. Shows off all the pretty paper and it has a place for some stamping and images, a place for a verse and a place to write too. So yeah, such a pretty Christmas card. Here we go. This was the letter M for the the um that brought you the weather report today. It was the mistletoe. Oh, and her name is Marjorie. There's another letter M. The mistletoe, Mary Mistletoe, is that what it was called? Let me go back to the catalog here. Mistletoe Magic. There it is. It's my one and only card that I've received, I think, that I can remember anyways, with the Mistletoe Magic stamp set or Mistletoe Magic bundle. And this was, yeah, Marjorie Levitt from Kamloops, who made this card. And there's that Mary Melody um, 3D embossing folder again there. Oh, she's got some really cool, it's like distressed gold on there. That's really neat. I wonder if she used, hmm, I was wondering about some of those gold flakes. I'm not sure how she created that. And it doesn't say um, exactly what all products she used, but it's lovely. Oh, so sweet, so, so sweet with the little gi gingerbread man and nice use of a new punch that was in the, the June, July through December catalog. This was created by Madeline from Parksville, BC. Yeah, I love her 
Doesn't she have such a pretty business card? I love the colors in it. So nice use of the Christmassy embossing folders. And look at the two little gingerbread with the heart. So sweet. I love that one. Okay. This is the last of the Christmas cards that I have from my swap pile. I saved this one for the last because it's, well, it's kind of a card, but it's also a treat package and it's so cute. These mugs, I can't even remember the name of the stamp set. I have to look inside, but they're the ones like, you know, that show off like their beer mugs, but she's turned them into hot chocolate mugs. And today is a hot chocolate kind of day. And then she used this paper, this camping paper from the, the annual catalog that's from that set for guys. And so this just tucks under the mug like that. And when you open it up, there's the hot chocolate. And so she's just created this band that holds the hot chocolate in there. And um, the band just is the ribbon that goes behind the layer of cardstock. And she's saying, I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be a hot chocolate kind of day too. Well, and that's pretty much where we're at now this time of year. But what's even better is like she gave us, included with her swap, she gave us this, which is like the whole, oh my gosh, this is the recipe for how to make her card. And she said she learned how to make this design or this template from Barb Stewart. And, but the person who put this together and came up with this particular take on it um, is Tammy Cooper. And I'm not sure where Tammy is from, but yeah, there she's showing it with the hot chocolate and the camping paper. And then there she's showing it with the red and beige um, option. She probably didn't have enough of one kind of paper to make 20 of all the same. So she did, you know, 10 of that kind and 10 of the other kind. So I'm pretty excited about having um, a sample of how to do a hot chocolate holder. thought that was super cute. Now, we're not done with the treats because I actually did receive two more treat packages at the convention. I have to show them to you really quick. <laughs> now, um, there are no more treats in here <laughs> because um, when, uh, well, because they were chocolate. <laughs> and um, um, when I attended this, this shoebox swap, we all sat down, you know, five of us at a table. We each received one of these Stampin' Up! packages um, that has like a little Ziploc closure on it. And they were filled with these, like well, something from Costco. They were yummy and they weren't malt. They looked like they would be malt balls, but they were way better than malt balls and they were chocolate. And so I received this from Glenda Mollett and Leanne Livingston, who organized our shoebox swap. What a nice gift to sit, sit down to at our table. And um, partway through, you know, the convention the next day, because this was the night before the convention, I might have needed those chocolates to kind of keep me going in the middle of the afternoon. And then um, I also ran into my up, up, up line or top of the top of the very uh, top team leader, Darlene, and she had this little treat um, package for me. It's, a, it's like a little box sort of bag thing. It's very sturdy, really sturdy. And she found, came and found me and she gave me some glossy dots and there were also lint balls in here. But yeah, the lint balls are all gone too. So yeah, chocolate is one of my weaknesses. Okay, well, whew, that's a lot to share with you tonight. I know it wasn't any stamping, but I hope that some of this has inspired you to pull out your, your stamps and your supplies and get busy and get creative. If you're um, ever interested in learning more about how these conventions work, um, um, you know, want to know more about that demonstrator opportunity, please be in touch with me. And as I mentioned before, if um, you are in Canada and you would like a copy of the new mini catalog that will be coming in, and I can't even figure out where I set that mini catalog now because I've got so much stuff here, there, and everywhere. Well, here it is. 
Well, and not only will you receive the mini catalog, but you'll also receive the celebration brochure too. Um, please be in touch with me and I'll have those sent out to you. So taking one last look at um, the messages to see if I've missed anything and uh, because they were chocolate. Yes. Oh, tuxedo balls. Oh, Lori, I, I can't remember if that's what they were called or not. I just know that she got them at Costco. She probably got a big bag of them and I'm not a Costco shopper. So they might have been. I'll have to ask Glenda, but they were delicious. <laughs> so thanks again, everyone, for joining me. I hope the rest of your week just goes really well. That um, no matter the weather you have, wherever you are, you're going about your week safely and um, that you can maybe find some time to be a little creative at some point during the week. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.